Since the federal budget revealed energy prices are set to jump by as much as 56% over the next couple of years, solar companies have had a huge spike in inquiries. Consumers are losing trust or confidence in the grid and the grid's ability to provide power at a price that's remotely affordable. Uh, and naturally that's seeing a very strong transition towards solar and, and, and batteries. We're installing the 15 panels today, these are the 425 watt. In less than two weeks, calls to this business have increased 750%. Despite the demand, the boss, Chris Williams, says more incentives are needed to speed up the take-up of home storage systems. There's definitely a void of strong rebates. Thousands or tens of thousands of batteries installed across the grid uh, will help to stabilise the grid and will actually bring down prices for everyone. Simon McCready has installed solar on his Sydney home and would eventually like to get a battery. Now is the time with rising mortgage costs um, everything, so I wanted to bring my power bills down um, and I felt that this was a, a really good way to do it. On his electric motorbike, Nigel Morris is gearing up for an accelerated transition to renewables. The economics are getting better over time and the more electricity prices go up, the better the payback is. A standard 6 kilowatt solar system costs around $6,000, while a 10 kilowatt battery is $10,500. If energy prices rise by 3% in 12 months, it takes more than 6 years to pay back the solar panels and 19 years for the battery. That reduces to 5 and 13 years if annual energy prices go up 10%. Some industry players are concerned the nation isn't ready for a solar boom. It's extremely hard to manufacture clean energy components here, not just solar. We could become a mass exporter. We need to be focusing on technologies and manufacturing technologies here. Electric vehicles, vehicle manufacturing, solar products, wind products. This brewery says any help the broader manufacturing industry can get to go green, the better. When brewing, we've got quite a favourable energy and heat sort of spread, so it allows us to use things like heat pumps, like solar thermal, like photovoltaics, to really reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. With the help of government grants, this business has been able to spend millions on solar and other technologies. It's not just the big and expensive energy efficiency measures that make a difference. Relatively cheap fixes like insulating valves have reduced this company's reliance on gas by 5% a year. Overall, Brick Lane's gas use is down 38% and its need for electricity from the grid has been cut by 30%. Reducing our, our reliance on um, primary energy in the first place, but certainly on fossil fuels, makes good business sense. A renewables boom accelerated by businesses and households.